Hi, today you are going to learn how to create hobby balls with PowerPoint. They are extremely perfect if you want to visualize ideas or concepts. So let's just get started right away. I already created this first one right here. And now I'm going to show you how to do that with the next one. So first of all, you want to go to the insert tab in PowerPoint and click on shapes. Choose the oval here and press shift. That's important so you can actually make a circle as big as you want to, maybe a little smaller. So we have the same size as the previous one. That's good. Good, so now you've done that, you have to format it. I mean, you don't have to, but it's very recommendable. Just choose an outline. It's actually not as important. Just choose whatever you want. And you can also change the design later on. And as for Shapefile, I'm going for white here, just to match the previous design. Then you have to go to the Insert tab again and to Shapes again. And you have to take the partial circle right here. Press Shift again so you get like the right shape and match it with the other circle. One tip if you don't know the width and the height of your um, circle, you can just click on the first one and then on the second one. And you can see that this is 5.09 centimeters in both height and width. And then also go to the second one and you can see that it's the same. And if it's not the same, you can also make it smaller or bigger. But this one already matches, so we're not going to do that. And just right until we got it again. So uh, now you are also going to change the color of this other circle that you just created. Choose shape fill and again one color that you want to. You can also choose a shape outline again. And um, now there comes the fun part. You can actually just change the percentage, the amount of pink, the amount of time, whatever amount you need by clicking on those little orange points here. And then as you can see, you can change that around. Let's say you want like a half a circle for this second project. You can just set that here like that. There you go. And um, that's basically it. Now, one trick to actually be able to move the hurry ball as a whole is to just select these two shapes, then right click and go to group and click group. And now, as you can see, you can just move it all around and it sticks together, those two objects, objects that you just created. You can still edit the inside of the circle after you've done that. So that is not a problem if you want to change the percentage or whatever. Um, and actually, once you've created your first hobby ball, you can just copy that by right-clicking and then going to copy and um, paste. And you can just put it there wherever you want and change the design under shape format and shape fill you have to select the single ones again the single shapes so you want to use like an orange for this one maybe or a 
basically any cup any other color is fine too and again you can change that maybe you want that to go to three quarters so you have different progresses progresses of projects and yeah that's not that's not the only concept you can visualize with harvey balls like you can feel free to to do whatever you want but that's how you do it and um, it's very easy so thank you for watching bye